Hello, I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial showing how I test LED laptop screens. So I use this. This is just a motherboard from an HP um, netbook. It's nothing powerful or fancy or anything. Just a bare motherboard with the RAM and processor. And I also have the LVDS cable connected to it. You can see right there. So first let's test this out using the original screen, which is a 10 inch LED um, 1024 by 600 TN panel. So plug this in real quick. Put that right there. And I'll go ahead and use this um, flash drive with the live Ubuntu installation. Let's see if it works. As you can see there, everything's working just fine with the original screen. There we go, get it to focus. And I'll go ahead and let everything boot up into Ubuntu to Linux. Okay, so Linux is done loading. So let's um go to settings here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the brightness real quick. There we go. And if I go to displays here, you can see that I don't know if the camera is close enough. You can see that the resolution is set at 1024 by 600, which is the native resolution of this panel. So everything's working just fine. The computer detected it and it's adjusted the resolution accordingly. But um, let's see what happens if we test this with a different laptop panel. So I'll go ahead and shut this off. Remove the LVDS cable. And I'm going to try this laptop screen right here. So this is a 14 inch Dell. Actually, it's not Dell, it's made by LG. It's a 14 inch laptop screen. It's got a resolution of 1366 by 768. And it's from a completely different laptop, as you can see. It's much bigger than the netbook motherboard. So let's see if it'll work with this. So, different screen size, different resolution. Plug that cable in there real quick. Try to line it up. Of course, the tape's going to make this difficult. There we go. And let's see what happens when we try this with a completely different panel that this netbook was not designed to work with. Now, let's turn this thing on. And as you can see, it's actually working with the different panel. And it's booting into Linux like it should. So Linux just booted up, and as you can see, it's adjusted everything and it looks great on this other laptop screen. So I'm going to do just like what I did with the last one, and turn up the screen brightness. Turn that all the way up so it's easier for me to see and as uh, so you can see when I go into displays that it is automatically adjusted to the resolution of this entirely different laptop screen see there 1366 by 768 now what this means is that you can hook this motherboard up to pretty much any laptop screen you want to and then you can test it at the native resolution. So like right now I can open up a picture or something in 
look for dead pixels or do whatever I need to do to make sure the laptop screen works. And this is show you that this you could use pretty much any laptop for this as long as it originally had an LED screen and it uses um, an LVDS interface for the screen. So you can see the specs right there. So this is, thing isn't powerful at all. It's got an Intel Atom and a gigabyte of RAM. But as you can see, it's looking great on this other screen. So I can do this with as many screens as I want. So here's another one. I could test it. I could test this when I picked it up, and it works just fine. So as long as your laptop screen is LED and uses an LVDS interface, it'll work with this. It's a very handy way to test screens. I'm just repeating myself now, so I hope this video helps somebody. Um, if it did, please leave a like, and thanks for watching.